The Christian doctrine of the session of Christ or heavenly session says that Jesus Christ is seated at the right hand of God the Father in heaven. The word session is an archaic noun meaning sitting, although the word formerly meant the act of sitting down. Its meaning is somewhat broader in current English usage, and is used to refer to a sitting for various reasons, such as a teaching session, or a court or council being in session. The New Testament also depicts Jesus as standing and walking in heaven, but the session of Christ has special theological significance because of its connection to the role of Christ as king. The session of Christ is one of the doctrines specifically mentioned in the Apostles' Creed, where, "...sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty." immediately follows the statement of the Ascension. Biblical references According to the Book of Acts, Acts 2 verse 33, after Jesus resurrection and ascension, he was exalted to the right hand of God, preaching on the day of Pentecost, Peter saw Jesus. Exaltation is a fulfillment of Psalm chapter 110 verse 1, The Lord says to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet. In the Bible, the right hand is the special place of honor. The idea of Christ's heavenly session appears a second time in the account of Peter's preaching in the book of Acts. In Acts chapter 5 verse 31, Peter says that God exalted Jesus. To his own right hand. Niv, though Louis Burkhoff notes that the date of Te Dexii may have to be taken in the instrumental sense, by his own right hand, rather than a local sense, at his own right hand. The heavenly session was important to other writers of the New Testament. In the Epistle to the Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 12, it says that Jesus sat down at the right hand of God after he had offered for all time one sacrifice for sins. As in Acts 2, the language of Psalm chapter 110 is used, the next verse saying that Jesus is waiting for his enemies to be made his footstool. Other New Testament passages that speak of Christ as being at God's right hand are Ephesians chapter 1 verse 20 God seated Christ at his right hand in the heavenly realms and 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 22 Jesus has gone into heaven and is at God's right hand. In Matthew Matthew chapter 26 verse 64 and Mark chapter 14 verse 62, Jesus says to Caiaphas, You will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of power. This is a reference to Daniel chapter 7 verse 13, in which Daniel sees a vision of one like a Son of Man coming to the Ancient of Days. <laughs> Posture the word, session, is an archaic noun meaning sitting. Wayne Grudem notes that the word formerly meant, the act of sitting down, but that it no longer has that sole meaning in ordinary English usage today. This language is used in Psalm chapter 110 verse 1 and Hebrews chapter 10 verse 12. In Acts chapter 7 verse 55, however, Stephen sees Jesus standing at the right hand of God. This may represent Jesus rising momentarily from the throne of glory to greet his proto-martyr, standing as a witness to vindicate Stephen's testimony, or preparing to return, in the book of Revelation, Revelation chapter 2 verse 1, on the other hand, Jesus is referred to as walking among the seven golden lampstands. Robert Mounts suggests that since these lampstands represent seven churches, Jesus' motion indicates that he is present in their midst and aware of their activities. In the creeds The Apostles' Creed says of Jesus that, "...he ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty." 1662 Book of Common Prayer. The words, "...and sitteth on the right hand of the Father." do not appear in the Nicene Creed of 325, but are present in the Niceno-Constantinopolitan Creed of 381, and are retained in all English versions of the Nicene Creed. Theological significance In the Bible, to be at the right side, is to be identified as being in the special place of honor, and thus, 
The full participation of the risen Christ in God's honor and glory is emphasized by his being at God's right hand. The heavenly session is often connected to the enthronement of Christ as king. The Catechism of the Catholic Church says that, being seated at the Father's right hand signifies the inauguration of the Messiah's kingdom. Louis Burkhoff notes that, in his session, Christ is publicly inaugurated as God-man, and as such receives the government of the Church and of heaven and earth, and enters solemnly upon the actual administration of the power committed to him." In Hebrews 10 verse 12, however, it is Jesus' priestly office that is in view. The session refers to the completed nature of the work, in the same way that a human being will sit down at the completion of a large work to enjoy the satisfaction of having accomplished it. F. F. Bruce argues that The presence of Messiah at God's right hand means that for his people there was now a way of access to God more immediate and heart-satisfying than the obsolete temple ritual had ever been able to provide. Karl Barth says that the session of Christ is the first and the last thing that matters for our existence in time, and that Whatever prosperity or defeat may occur in our space, whatever may become and pass away, there is one constant, one thing that remains and continues, this sitting of his at the right hand of God the Father. Use in hymnody The heavenly session is referred to in many hymns, such as Charles Wesley's hymn Rejoice, The Lord is King. The Christmas Carol once in Royal David. S. City contrasts Christ's humble birth with his heavenly session. The last verse begins. Topic. See also. Topic. Christ in Majesty. Intercession of Christ. Topic. References. Topic. Topic. External links Topic. Of the Session of Christ at the Right Hand of God by John Gill, in A Body of Doctrinal Divinity 1767, Book 5, Chapter 8.